Good evening. Melbourne school students are being urged to ignore a campaign to get them to abandon classes to attend pro-Palestine and climate change rallies in the CBD. The strike plans prompted accusations that organisers were using students as political pawns and came as three teenage protesters disrupted Parliament. Teenage climate protesters skip school to disrupt question time ahead of Friday's school climate strike, evicted by PSOs. When the politicians aren't doing their job, well, students take it upon themselves to protest. That as 17-year-old Audra and 16-year-old Ivy help organise a student strike next week to rally for Palestine. I'm learning about life and I'm learning about the world and that's so much more important than algebra. I know my schooling's important but this is just way more important. The Premier urged students not to attend. Students are expected to be at school on that day. I'm very worried for Jewish students and about their safety because I have no doubt that they'll be isolated and attacked after this rally. Friday's climate protest backed by leading scientist David Carolee, who's written a sick note for attendees, citing symptoms of increased anxiety, elevated stress, feelings of despair, and then... It is my recommendation that they take a sick day to protest for a sick planet. School strike for climate is an important opportunity for school kids to learn about democracy in action. So what will happen to students who attend either protest? Suspensions or any punishment that will be up to the school community. But I think the expectation needs to be made very clear that this is not a valid reason for not being at school. I'm not sure what you'd suggest we do in terms of individually go around and check every household to make sure every child's at school. Colin the Premier should make it absolutely clear that any student who attends this poisonous and divisive rally will face disciplinary action. Nick McCallum, 7 News.